Hey guys, Dr. Josh Jagoda here, and today we're going to get into something that I just completed, and that is I did 100 abs every single day for 100 days, and the 100 abs I did every day was a minimum uh, as of, of 100 abs, but it could be different movements. You could do them at different parts of the day. I particularly like to just get it done and over with, so I would do a couple sets or I would minimize my sets, but I wanted to share with you some things that I learned throughout this process because I think that you can apply this to your life, health, wealth, uh, fitness, whatever it may be. So first things first is it, it's sometimes hard to get started. And I know like, you know, a lot of people out there are suffering from maybe, you know, difficult areas that they're looking to tone up. Maybe they're struggling in their health or, or fitness world, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, like you have to get started, right? And then once you get started, you have to continue on. And there's going to be days that I woke up and that you wake up and sometimes you're tired, sometimes you're frustrated, sometimes you're sore, you don't feel like doing it, but you just have to do it anyway. So there is a level of what we call like persistence, uh, de tenacity, determination. Uh, why did you set out this goal to begin with? Why do you want to do this to begin with? Is it to lose weight? Is it to look better? Uh, those, are, those are just things that I've kind of uh, came across. And even sometimes like last night at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, I just finished a workout and I didn't want to do abs after my workout. Like I just didn't. And guess what? I did it. And so you have to just put forth the effort, the effort. You have to put forth the true per percent of that effort and really dedicate yourself towards that. But anyway, um, I did see some results in my abs. I feel much stronger in my core. I feel a lot leaner and what I also noticed is like during the middle or of like this whole thing like day 50 and 60 I had to take a trip out of town a couple of times and I was eating like crap and I could tell that like as many abs as I was doing wasn't enough because I wasn't burning enough calories I wasn't working out as much and I was eating like crap so if you are going along with this you know, you really have to complement it for maximal results with your nutrition. I really found that getting this extra nutrition in made the results that much better. And likewise, when you do these abdominals, when you do things like this, you're really just going to find out how much courage, how much it takes from within, and then you're going to want to treat yourself even better. So you're not going to want to do um, 100 abs every single day for 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 plus days and then treat yourself with, you know, fr fried french fries every day. You're going to want to improve upon that, right? The point of doing all this stuff is to get to a certain goal that you want, right? And at the end of the day, like, you'll find that it's really easy to do that. But I found that I got incredible results. Um, my waistline feels a little bit better. The way my chest and my, um, I guess you can say my abs and my obliques, they feel much better. Uh, I, they look a lot more toned. And I just found that this was incredibly useful for, um, you know, just my day-to-day -day routine. It was a great way to start the day. It's a great way to finish the day. And you will get results. You just have to stick with it. So whatever you're out there, whether it's pain, uh, whether it's fitness, whether it's dietary, you just got to stick with it. It's really going to help you in the long term. And starting off with just, you know, five abs a day, five push-ups a day, ten push-ups a day, whatever it's going to be, or just that constant conscious effort to make a decision to eat an apple extra instead of those sweets or grab an orange instead of those sweets. Those subtle changes over the course of time, especially when you continue on is going to really make those big impacts and somebody's going to say to you one day how did you get those results and you're going to be like it's just a little change over a long period of time and so just start with those little changes guys it's going to make a huge difference you're going to see really great results you're going to feel a lot more confident you're going to start treating yourself better you're going to start doing more things in the direction of where your goals are aligned so the reason you started this goal now you're taking more action and then you're going to end up finding yourself taking more action on these goals and it's going to end up taking you to that next level in terms of health, wealth, fitness, whatever it may be guys. So uh, I just wanted to share this story with you because I know a lot of people out there, like I said, struggle with certain things. They maybe give up too early. 
Um, and to be honest, I wanted to give up after like 30 days as well. But like now that I'm at day 100 plus, 100 abs is easy and that's just my minimum and I don't really see myself stopping. As a matter of fact, I see myself increasing uh, because that stuff is so easy now. And I think that you can apply this to yourself and your health and if you're in pain, make sure that you're trying to get out of it. Don't give up. Like, what, do you give up after like one day, one week, one month? No, it, it's a process over time. So do not give up. Keep going with it. I promise in the end run, you will see the results that you initially started looking for and you're probably gonna get better results than you even expected, all right guys? I'm Dr. Josh Chigoda, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you guys found this useful and hopefully you found this inspiring so that you can go out there and do whatever it is you wanna do so that you can improve your health, all right guys? I'll see you guys next time, take care, bye.